Now, I think that there is some kind of connection. I do believe that there is a connection between uh, Jim Justice and what's going on at the Clay Center. Now, the Clay Center is a museum here in Charleston, uh, West Virginia, and in, in, they used to have like all these like signs and like uh, different things for like kids to do. It's where they can learn and, and play. And they recently redid one of their exhibits. And now it's just supposed to be like a scale model town. Only this town is super nice, so it's not realistic of what is actually here. But the first thing I noticed when I walked in there was an ATM. It said United above it. I'm like, what the heck is this? The kids get to go around. There's a diner, a grocery store, a vet, um, like a health clinic and an Appalachian power store, because, you know, they have stores. But there was brick street signs, you know, all along the sidewalk. They had like these little, uh, look like street lights, you know, and it had brick street coming off of it. There was brick street on the, on the floor. Um, yeah, it was United Bank, BB&T, and what you did was that the kids can go onto these ATMs and fill it out with their name and their birthday, create a bank account, and then they go around with these clipboards and, you know, do jobs, and then they can go and put a number back into the account, and then the, the account will get money in it. Now, first of all, it's nefarious because what they're trying to do is try, they're trying to get these kids to open up bank accounts. You know, they're trying to get kids to, ooh, see, banking's fun. And, not to mention, now, the guy that's in charge of the Clay Center, uh, he he specializes in game theory, and if you don't know what game theory is, that's basically how you. Get, it's the idea of, of you know you, when you put people in a situation, you can predict what kind of choices they're going to make based on you know what the you know uh, on on them or based on the situation. But it's all about predicting behavior, and so this guy is all about being up in your brain. And so like I'm starting to look around. I'm looking at all these different. Uh, activities for the kids and the activities they had before was about critical thinking and and uh, exploration and curiosity and and seeing how things work together and this new one is just it's there's no imagination there's no curiosity behind it whatsoever it doesn't inspire anybody to do anything it's just like a little you know play adult and so you look at the stores that are in there okay you've got your health clinic it's like it's basically Look at the big donors here, you know, the big political donors. You've got your fossil fuel industry, you know, you've got uh, Walmart, you know, that's the biggest employer here is like Walmart and healthcare. Um, so you got your little grocery store, Walmart, they'll get you ready for your dead end job. Uh, and, you know, mechanic, it's just stuff like that. It's all about just not. It, it kills all curiosity. And then on top of that, they had a little section of it where it was all set up to be the governor's office, you know, where you could pretend to be the governor with, you know, passing or vetoing bills. And this happened right uh, back in September. Uh, and September is also when he set out for, um, well, that's when they started planning. They didn't open it, I think, until, I think it was maybe November they opened it. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. Um, but there's some shady stuff going on there because it, between the Clay Center, I know that there are politicians that work on the board of the Clay Center. So it all comes together. The businesses and the politicians. That's where they meet. That's where their orgy happens, okay? And, and they're also using that power to influence the young minds. I hate that. I can't stand it. That's one of the big things that I rail against is, is influencing impressionable minds or, or young minds because they're trying to get these kids ready for their dead-end jobs they're trying to get kids ready to just kill this is like the you know the you know our education system it's all about cure, killing uh, intellectual curiosity it's all about don't think just do and it's sick but I'm gonna look more into it and um, I'm gonna put some slides up uh, at the end of this and you can check out um, the kind of stuff that's in there. I mean, it is just a big advertisement. Big advertisement. I'm looking into the donors right now, and I'm also looking into the machines, um, the ATMs. Uh, I, 
it's really it, it, there's some dark stuff going on in there so uh, I'll update you later on on what I find out but yeah that's that's where we're at right now